So my name is Andrew R. McHugh. Um, I'm Matt Murray. Um, and Eric, I, I think we have something especially for you. Um, and so we call this the What If Conference. The What If Conference is a series of eight minute presentations. Um, they're thought provoking talks, provides provocative conversation, inspiring dinner dialogue. The whole thing is an engaging and immersive experience um, and we really focus on transdisciplinary thought. Um, and so it looks kind of like this. We start with just hello, um, so welcome. Uh, and then we move to these eight minute presentations that could be of the sort. What if inmates were truly rehabilitated? Uh, what if time did not exist? Um, what if an alien species visited Earth? Or what if uh, one sentence could change your world? There are no moral statements. Biphobia did not exist, and on and on and on. Um, and so after a few presentations, everyone breaks for small group discussions. Um, and this is where we try to integrate the knowledge. Um, and so how do we bring together the ideas we just saw? And then we go uh, back to a few presentations and a breakout discussion and presentations and we repeat this process. And the whole time this is all interspersed with videos, installations, and performances. Um, and of course, food, because food helps spur conversation. Um, and so every part of the conference, from the atmosphere to the content to the meals to the people, aims to promote engagement uh, with other attendees and ideas. Um, yeah, I got you guys, thanks. Um, and so let's be awesome, let's break down barriers, let's invigorate each other, let's ask what if. But there's another question that we have to go into. What does it look like? What is this what if? Well, what does this do for people? What does this do for cities? Well, first of all, I think it's gonna bring people together from different disciplines to have a conversation about the issues that we have. They're gonna start asking questions, but we think that these questions spur on other questions to be asked. And what's this gonna look like? Well, first of all, we're gonna bring equals and non-equals together so we can have people from different backgrounds to find a common ground to discuss these questions and these ideas. It's gonna be a democratization of ideas, critical thinking, question asking, but it's also gonna do a number of other things. First of all, it's gonna be a celebration of cities and communities by bringing them together through the installations, the performances, the presentations. We get to talk about what are our accomplishments? What have we been doing? What can we do? But not only is it gonna do that, but we're gonna have these ears and these eyes together, these voices together, and then we're gonna put them into action. And then once they're together, then the community gets to tell the business leaders, the education administrators, the uh, policy makers, what they want their community to look like, instead of waiting for the community to tell them what it's gonna look like. And through all of this, the bigger question is, what if we can use questions to turn ideas into transformative action? The forum provides a platform for a community to come together. This is pre-TED. This is what if. I'll do it. Questions? Yeah. <laughs> um, so where will these be hosted? Yeah. Um, they, we ran this one year, um, and it was at Westminster College. Uh, it's in Fulton, Missouri. It's about 30 minutes away from here. Um, the second year, uh, it'll be on March 2nd, again at Westminster. Um, but after that, we're planning to try to engage um, larger communities and start spreading this um, in almost a, a complement to the TEDx model. And I'll stand your question. We want it to happen everywhere. We want this to happen in schools. We want the, this to happen in other college campuses, but especially for something like today, we hope this can take root in cities because maybe college students and professors are gonna be asking certain questions, elementary kids are gonna be asking other questions, but maybe when you put a group of a, a community together, they're gonna ask very different questions and these questions are also gonna be telling their leaders what they want. So where will this happen? Hopefully someplace like this, that will have a Columbia city, or a, a Columbia uh, what if, we'll have a St. Louis what if, a Fulton what if, and these can come up from the ground up to ask these questions. But also like a, a Columbia education system what if, or like a, a what if book club or something, that like what if is a question that spans all communities. Great question. The question is how are we gonna disseminate the information after we have these? Yeah, so um, our initial plans uh, are to post the videos on the website, um, but I think our final goal would to have this um, online platform that would help 
help set up this community online that you could do very similar things online that you would do at the conference. Which actually, we participated in the Startup Weekend as well. And during that Startup Weekend, which is an amazing time, in case any startup people are listening to this, thank you very much, um, we were able to get at least the preliminary stages for such a platform. Uh, you could think of it kind of like Facebook or some other social media website, but one that's dedicated to crowdsourcing curiosity. So well, the question is, um, how often is this? Uh, and the answer is, um, the big conference would be once a year, um, but we can hold a bunch of mini events throughout the year. Um, so like a what if film festival, or what if like, let's come up with questions and build them throughout a day, and yeah. But again, on the city level, I think we have the idea of this turning into like, we have county fairs, yeah. where once a year there's a designated time, space, and place to have this. We'd like on the city level to, each community knows that this time of year, this is when we're getting together, this is when we're gonna celebrate our accomplishments, this is when we're gonna tell people what we want, ask questions to move us forward. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, so if you have more questions, please reach them afterwards and give feedback to all of our pitch presenters. I know they'd appreciate it, and I can applause for the awesome people. <laughs>